Hi, and welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be doing my June book haul. So in June, I've kind of amassed books from a bunch of different places, so now I'm going to get started with showing you guys the books that I bought during the month of June. The first two books I actually got while I visited the Legendary Strand bookstore in New York. In case you guys don't know what that bookstore is, it's basically this block-long four floor high building that is a bookstore and filled with so many different books. They have anything you can imagine. The top floor is a rare book room. I've always wanted to go. It's been on my bucket list and while I was in New York this month I got the chance to go. So the first book that I got at the Strand is Kafka, Metamorphosis, and Other Stories. This is an out-of-print collection, I believe, of some of Kafka's short stories. I've mentioned him on my channel before. Like his stuff, saw this, and I knew that I had to have it. Now, the next book that I got at the Strand is something that I probably shouldn't have gotten there because it's about 1,500 pages and I had to carry it around New York all day, but that is the Bronte Sisters. This is a bind-up collection of all of the major works of the Bronte Sisters and Charlotte and Emily. It has Jane Eyre, Villette, The Professor, Wuthering Heights, Agnes Grey, and The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. I've read some of these, need to read them, but I saw this and this is so amazing and I'm just ecstatic that I got to pick this up and add this behemoth to my collection. Next, I got the chance to go to my church's used book sale and pick up a few books. The first book that I got is probably something pretty boring. It's The History of Civilization, Volume 2 since 1648 by Paul Bernstein and Robert W. Green. This is actually for a class that I might have to take next year. I'm going to be a freshman in college and I saw this and it's basically just a book of like outlines about Western civilization history and I thought it might be helpful if I have to take a class relating to this. The next book I got at the church book sale is Persuasion by Jane Austen. I already have multiple copies of this book, but I'm kind of a collector of Jane Austen books, and this one was only a dollar, as you can see by the sticker still on the cover, and I thought it was really cool. It's hardcover, and it's kind of unlike anything I have, so I decided to buy it. And the final book that I got at my church festival is something I've been looking for for a very long time, and that is The Complete Works of William Shakespeare. This is huge. I swear it weighs about 10 pounds. And I like Shakespeare. I've always wanted one of these bind-up collections, but whenever I found one I liked, they're either too expensive or there's something not right about it. This was actually, though, $2. And this has all of Shakespeare's plays and sonnets and anything I could ever need. So excited that I finally got this. I know I am such a nerd. The final two books of this book haul are actually kind of graduation presents from people I know. The first one is The New Lifetime Reading Plan, The Classic Guide to World Literature by Clinton Fadiman and John S. Major. This was a gift from my favorite teacher in high school, my English teacher, and my broadcasting teacher, Mrs. Steinbaugh. She got this for everyone that graduated, and for me, it's perfect because it's a really cool book that kind of goes through all of the major literary figures of the world and goes through their the most popular works, and it's basically just a list of books that you should read before you die. The final book that I got is actually a graduation present from my friend Lexi, and that is Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood. This is a book about witches, I believe, and it's supposedly really good. I've been hearing good things about it for years, and I'm excited to get my hands on this and hopefully read it soon. So those are all of the books that I got in the month of June. If you guys have read any of these, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you again soon.